If you are a cinematographer, DB, videographer, colorist, editor, and you really like that film look, uh, film look of like uh, grains and all that, and you ever purchased or used Cineprint, um, Dehancer, or Converter, or any of those apps, then uh, that's good news and bad news. Because good news is you don't have to worry about those things. Bad news, if you purchase them, it's kinda waste. Because DaVinci Resolve, Drop the 19 version better. It's already been out. A lot of people have been talking about it, but this film look creator, they added a lot of different things, a lot of cool stuff. If you're not a DaVinci Resolve uh, user, then uh, out. It's a waste of time, but if you are and if you want to learn, then this is it. This film look creator is literally takes you used to have like a bunch of layers adding vignetting, halation, all that shit, or adding a bunch of notes and just taking that into one. Like that's literally what DaVinci did, like taking 20 things and adding it to one. So, and the DaVinci said all those people who used to sell their items, uh, buy my uh, converter every month or purchase it for $200, $500. DaVinci said, fuck you guys, this is it. This is already built in and it gives you beautiful image. All right, uh, I'm gonna show it to you guys step-by-step step how it's done because I learned in a couple of days and it's super simple if i learn like you can do it too because i'm pretty dumb so uh we'll go step by step how i color grade this specific footage hopefully you guys find this video useful and helpful let's get into it this is a project file i opened and as you can see this is all the files that i cut together uh it's not that like that's crazy it's just a bunch of video clips together i'm just gonna color grade a few of them all right let's just for example take this one right here so let's go to color first of all most make sure your uh, color management uh, color management is in davinci uh, those are the simple steps that you can learn online i'm not a colorist i just do it the way because it's the best way so you just take that make sure it's on color management is correct from there on you just take it and i look for film film look there we go all right film look creator take that slap it I just add a couple more notes just for exposure and other things, but let's just say I'm not adding one note for exposure and one more here and boom. All right, from there on, you just make sure that you put your right camera settings. For example, mine was S-Log, S-Log Scene 3. And make sure that it outpowers the Rex 709 and Gamma 2.4 because my computer, uh, my screen is Gamma, uh, Rex 709. All right, and boom. This is already looking amazing, right? So just just by doing this, it already like it added everything. So you don't have to like check any boxes. It checks in every every box for you, but you can uh, uncheck them if that's the right word. Anyways, so this is exposure. For example, I'm gonna bring the exposure a little more, a little down, and then um, contrast. I like to uh, give it a little richness, a little more saturation. Um, then go to halation. Uh, you can see like everything already boxes are checked. So whatever you want to use, you want to keep it, you can keep it. If whatever you don't want to keep it, just uncheck them. Um, you can film grain at 32 per 35. You can uh, you can make it smaller, bigger, the grain, all that. Like it's it it, it is so good because everything's already like it, built in. I used to open up like seven nodes, add a grain, add a vignette, add a glow, out of this and that. Now it's just everything you want. Also, look at this, boom. You can choose different styles of uh, framing, like eight millimeter, 16 millimeter, 35 millimeter. Oh my goodness. It is so simple, so easy, so beautiful. And I honestly, if I just change the greens a little bit, outside of that, I think this image is complete. If there's not much needed uh, for like YouTube video for your clients or anything like that, obviously you can fuck around more and change this and that. But in reality, this is this is good looking image already, from my opinion. Um, yeah, this is it. It's super simple. You just take one uh, one um, effect, slap it, mess around with it. Just know your what camera you shot and all that. It's beautiful. Like that, everything is just. Tone wise, first of all, it's DaVinci. It gives you like the bigger wide gamut. You just make sure you use that. However, outside of that, everything is so well put together. I, I used to only be Premiere guy, but now I love DaVinci. It's just so simple, it's so easy. Um, yeah, that is the video. Hopefully, it wasn't too long and you guys followed me along really well. And if you guys found this helpful or useful, please thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs up if you loved it. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Ciao.